In this session, I will share tips on using the Shape Mapper in Substance Designer to easily create various patterns based on hexagons. Shape, Checker, Weaver, and Polygon, one of the four nodes we will use to create hexagon-based patterns. First, click on the File button at the top left corner and select New to create a new substance graph. Choose the empty template. Start by creating a shape node. In this case, I will select the brick pattern and set the tiling to 2. Then, set the scale to 0.75 and enable rotation at 45 degrees. You will see a different shape compared to before, resembling a flower-like pattern. Now the crucial step is to create a shape mapper node and connect it. This node distorts and maps the input pattern onto a circular or polygonal shape. Since we want to create a pattern based on hexagons, set the shape to polygon instead of circle. Set the segments to 6 and adjust the radius to 0.06 and width to 0.8. This will result in a flower-like pattern different from the previous shape. To introduce some variation, you can also adjust the pattern amount. Pattern amount represents the number of repetitions in the pattern. Since we are using hexagons, set it to 6. When dealing with an even number of segments, it is recommended to use an even pattern amount for a balanced shape. Avoid setting pattern amount too high, as it may create overly complex patterns. Next, let's create a pattern using the checker node. Create a checker node and set the tiling to 2. Enable rotation at 45 degrees, similar to the previous step. Then, create a shape mapper node and connect it. Set the shape to polygon and the segments to 6. Now, let's adjust the radius and width values. Radius determines the distance between the center and the pattern shape, essentially controlling the size of the gaps. This time, I will set it to 0 to eliminate gaps. Width determines the overall width of the shape. It plays a role similar to scale. I will set it to 0.85. To increase the complexity of the pattern, you can adjust the pattern amount. Higher values will make the pattern denser. An interesting aspect here is that if you change the previously set rotation of 45 degrees to false, you will see a completely different pattern. Now let's explore the use of the Weaver Generator. Create a Weaver Generator node and set the weave value to 1. Since the distance between weaves is too tight, set both gap values, x and y, to 0.5. To create a clearer shape, lower the shape value to 0.12, reducing the shadows between weaves. Unfortunately, the Weaver Generator node does not have a built-in rotation feature. To rotate it manually, create a Transformation 2D node. You can either enter 45 degrees directly into the angle field or, while holding the shift key, drag the rotation icon in the 2D view to rotate it by increments of 45 degrees. Then, create a shape mapper node and connect it, setting the shape to polygon, and bolt the segment and pattern amount to 6. Similarly, set the radius to 0 and the width to 0.85. This will generate another unique pattern. Lastly, let's explore the Polygon 1 node. Create a Polygon 1 node and set the sides to 4 to create a square shape. The key difference between this node and the Shape node is the Explode feature. Explode evenly separates the shape into the specified number of sides. I will set this value to 0.1. Next, adjust the tiling to 2, and you will see that the number of shapes increases by 4 times. Create a Shape Mapper node and connect it setting the shape to polygon, and both the segment and pattern amount to 6. Set the radius to 0 and the width to 0.85. This will generate yet another unique pattern. Using these methods, you can create patterns based on basic shapes or blend different shapes to create new patterns. I encourage you to experiment with these techniques and create a variety of patterns.